He has to be in here with me because this is my friend. He hates camera stuff, so. Okay. Oh, you yeah, you clearly like them. <laughs>2017 Wadapalooza, first time, 2018 Wadapalooza, we kind of got to know each other, because you're down there at Wadapalooza. I met you for the first time that Friday night in 2020. Okay, so in 2020, Kevin Harrington, which is a photographer, invited me up to crash when no events are going on. Invited me out, let me come out, threw down, that's when I met Jason Hopper, Taylor Self, and everybody. Got my butt whooped, and since then I've been coming up for four years. And uh, from Jacksonville, Florida. Okay. Yeah, so I'm originally from Jacksonville, Florida. Traveled around for a little, across it. Trained with Noah down in Miami for a little. Hiked my way up to uh, Atlanta, Georgia. CrossFit Thor. We were training partners for a couple.
couple years. But I'm from Jacksonville, so me and my sister are actually in the middle of opening up our own gym right now. Yeah, in Jacksonville, Florida. So annually I come up here, JR's a class act. In my opinion, any in-house gym competition that's actually still inside of the facility, it's the best competition in the world. You know, so yeah, yeah, it's from scratch. I um, I do personal training, right? And I've been in the CrossFit space for about 10 years. We have about 30 members already between personal training and group classes that we're kind of running right now as the gym's opening up. So, but it's from scratch. We're getting it moving. I think it's going to be a really good time. You know what's really cool is this. Uh, that ended up being my best event with the ring muscle ups. Because I'm training out of a garage gym right now, because I'm opening up my facility, waiting on the city to turn on the power and water, I haven't done a ring muscle up in six weeks. And I was able to do uh, two sets of 14 and broken. Yeah, so pretty exciting. Uh, I'm, part of, uh, I'm part of Mayhem Athlete. Yeah, so Jake Lockard is my personal coach, and uh, Rich and them are kind enough to let me come up and throw down with them here and there. Hey. How you doing? What position are you sitting in? Uh, I don't know. I think first, maybe. I think first, too. Um, I, was, I was told, did you, did you play other sports before this? Yes, sir. I played football, ran track. Uh, I was always told that if you, what I call it, like soccer or football. Yes, I sir. Was told yeah, I played soccer when I was super young, but. I was always told if you play soccer and if you wear, like, really white shoes, then you have to be able to and short perform. shorts. You have to be able to perform everyone because it's like, a, it's like a, a flash. Yeah, exactly. You know, white yes, shoes. <laughs> Is that what these are about today? <laughs> You're trying to. Yeah, we're trying to blind everybody. Yeah. That's what we're trying to do, sir. First we choose them with performance. Exactly. How do you feel about these two workouts? I, I'm not sure, honestly. I didn't test, touch any of these, so I don't know. Have how you done the, that type of bar before? No, I haven't. I've done like toaster rings, which I it's assume similar, is going to be a yeah. lot different, but... Actually, uh, according to the guys, it's pretty similar. You don't yes, actually sir. kip. You kind of do a, that same yes, ring swing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I guess we'll see how it goes. You're too formal, I'm man. Excited. Yes, sir. Too formal. Relax. <laughs> Relax, man. But I'm not a sir. What age are you? Uh, 20. Okay, yeah, I'm 34. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I am a sir, but I don't like it. Not yeah, 34. It, it it, yeah. Wait, you're like what? 21? Yeah, you're good. <laughs> What's up, baby? Would you rather chase or be chased? Chase. Would you rather chase or be chased? Chase. Okay. Be chased. Who would want to be chased? You're both in the right spot then. You're both gonna. You've got to chase now. Oh. Chase or be chased? I'd rather chase. Uh -oh. It depends on the position, my man. Depends on uh, the circumstance. Man, did you see the Sagan podcast? They're saying like the uh, Sagan from Wish. <laughs> from Wish. Why do they call me the duck? Wait, what is that? We got a new dance coming today, bro. <laughs> Why are they chasing me, bro? That's Sagan from from Wish. Oh my gosh. That's what I said, bro. I could see it. We you can see it, bro. Shut up, bro. I could totally see it. A wish pop welder and a wish lock air pump. That's true. That's crazy. I'll take it, bro. At least I don't look like a You're great value a freaking Scooby Doo or something. Scooby Doo? Oh. Wow. Well, where did that come you're from? A, you're really good at CrossFit, but you're not very good at this. Yeah, I can't. No, 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 let me try here. again. Let me try again. No love here. I'm putting my earbud back. At least I'm not a great fan. No, okay. <laughs> oh, he is getting that much. See, I got in his head. Look, he has yeah. to put his headphones in. What's well, actually more insulting is that you you refer to everyone else's bro when you were calling me sir. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Fucking fuck this. You did this competition. Yep. First year. And um, you train here, like, yep. have done for a while, a long time. Um, do you get FOMO with this competition? Not really. No. Like, do you wish you could do it? No. It was better uh, place in the season, like, for you? If it, if it was better place in the season, it would be fun to do it, yeah. But since it's just so close to the road, then it's like, it's not really worth it. So. If you hadn't, if you hadn't qualified for Rogue, would you have done this? Uh, there was probably a good chance I would. Yeah, just because you know this is my home gym. Back to the roots, you know. Don't forget where you come from. I guess as well though, like it's so well programmed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, if it was close to roots and back where you came from, right. but it was a shit show, you wouldn't even consider it. <laughs> no, I would not. Um, it's grown a lot too. You know, like the floor, like the layout wasn't here when we did it. Um, you know, obviously the media wasn't. So, it was a good time. I mean, they're flying in international media now. Uh, it's, it's crazy, dude. It's crazy. J JR has done a good job. Yeah, he has. It's been cool to watch it grow over like last three years. How are you feeling about Rogue? I feel good. Yeah, it's going to be exciting. Um, it's a good time. Is this 
like a... Do you feel like... Are you, are you on like the hunt for redemption after how the games went and stuff? Or? No, not necessarily. I mean, I've been in the sport for like the last three years, so like I know where my fitness is, you know, compared to all these people. Um, people know where I stand. It's like I'm not obviously the fittest in the world, but I'm like, for me, it's like that 30 second isn't necessarily, you know, a direct correlation of what I believe in um, about myself. And so it should be a good time. Like, I'm not going out there necessarily to, like, redeem anything because, you know, I'm, like, I know where my worth is, you know. Like, I don't need to show anybody or, like... Do you, do you listen or read or anything when people, like, rank or say... I try not to, no. When you do see it, does it affect you at all or do you just... Sometimes it, it does, yeah. Sometimes it does. That's why I try not to good bro it's not good no, yeah. nothing on the media is good even if they have you like winning it's like unnecessary pressure and then if you they have you losing coming to last it's like well then you feel like crap you know so nothing, nothing ever good comes from it honestly so if i ever do predictions do you want me to just put you middle of the pack put me middle of the pack baby somewhere between 10 and 20 i don't know he's yeah. all right yeah <laughs> not too good not too bad he's yeah. fine yeah you just win I don't know. I think it is. <laughs> you have to, you have I think it'll be close. You have to beat by one second, as far as I make it, and you're about 20 ish uh, seconds. Early. Oh, I had to beat her by one second? Yeah. Okay. You did. <laughs> okay, cool. Don't quote me on that, but I'm like 99.999% okay, well, sure. If you're wrong, I'm going to yeah, be yeah. kind of upset with you. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I think you do. Um, okay. uh, uh, enjoyable weekend? Yeah, it was fun. It's my second. Or, Third time doing individual crucible. Here. Yeah. Why, what brings you back? Um, the it's just such a good event, you know. And I go here to crash. Oh, you train here? Yeah, I train here. Okay. Yeah. So. And I, Where did you finish the other times? Um, my first time, I think I was last. Okay. Yeah, and the first time we did the comp, I think I was last. It was that like, was like twenty. Twenty. Might have been twenty. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was like my first like competitive crossfit competition. Um, and yeah, I'm pretty sure I either took last or second to last. And last then the time? second one was like eighth, I think. Okay. Um, and then I was on a team last year, okay. and we did a team out of here that went to semifinals. And then, it, have you done other competitions like have you done like Waterpalooza and those kind of things? Um, I did Waterpalooza on a team like two years ago. Okay. Um, from was that Rx? Yes, yeah, uh, okay. Elite. Elite. Okay. Yeah, it was with Allison Stahl and Amy Fritt. Okay. Amy was in Masters this weekend. And then Allison's competed like a lot. Um, and then obviously like there's a, a, there's a mixed field and there tends to be like one or two like oh shit athletes. Yeah. Um, when you see the leaderboard or when you see the names like populating, do you, does that like make you nervous or anything? And then when you beat them this weekend, are you like oh fuck yeah? Yeah, I mean I was really excited. I didn't know what to expect coming into the weekend because I train with like Jason and JR yeah. um, and Taylor Wade like all the time. So they just kick my ass all the time. So I didn't know what to expect like against some of these girls and they're all like semifinals girls and stuff and I haven't competed there yet. Um, so I honestly didn't know what to expect. So I was just excited. Yeah, yes, I think is the key word. <laughs> yeah, well done, thank you. good job. Check. Yeah. Oh, it's the big thing then. Oh, it's just a poster. Oh, so, you can't, so if you went into the bank with that. Maybe I'll try. You can try a lot both. Yeah. <laughs> and I've lodged this one and this one. Yeah. Ma'am, this is a replica. Oh, what? Um, how's that? How was your weekend? It was good. I think I did the best that I could. Like, honestly, the thruster event was probably my favorite, even though, like, my placement wasn't the best. But, like, I PR'd by tons. Like, I hit two thrusters at 175, one roller up there. Um, and overall, it was very fun. I love the high skill volume and everything so um, I've heard this referred to as your coming out party do you agree with that <laughs> we'll see um, what's the plan for us now for like the rest of the off season and then... off season I'll go home spend some time shoveling snow in the winter um, <laughs> build up some cardio yeah exactly yeah, yeah. yeah sure. oh Wisconsin so yeah Fine. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Where am I from Wisconsin? A uh, tiny town called Triple Falls. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Love that place. Of course, yeah. So. Um, and then what about other competitions? Um, I qualified for Waterpalooza, which was a heck of a ride because I got a 
a, penal a penalty on one of my workouts okay. on the strength event, which learned my lesson, I guess. <laughs> oh, you had your bar loaded or something? Yeah, I did, yeah. Okay. yeah. So, but you still qualified? So, yeah, I was in the last spot. Like, okay. I, the night I found out, we were like, all right, well, let's find another competition. And the Fittest of the Coast qualifier, like, happened to extend their, um, yeah. like, qual deadline yeah, deadline. And so we went to the garage, like, after I ate dinner and showered. And, put the hammer down and then in the morning I woke up and looked at the leaderboard and it was like I made the last cut like how did that happen yeah. so I feel like the cards all aligned did you qualify for the other one as well oh I stopped it because okay. like I would have had to done a comp uh, workout right before this and then tomorrow so okay, yeah, just, okay. yeah. Um, that workout the box step over or box jump step down all that yeah um, at the end of that workout, Heron looked quite panicked for about like 30 seconds. Yeah, when you finished, what happened I there? don't know what happened actually. I just like didn't really feel like myself. Usually I feel like I start swimming like once I, once it hurts, like that's where I thrive usually. And so it was kind of weird. Like once I was doing my box jump overs, I was just like not feeling very well. Like, oh my gosh, I might just fall over. I don't like dizziness know. Or? Yeah, just like off. And like I had to set the kettlebells down because I felt like I couldn't breathe that well. And then I don't know, it was fine. <laughs> Shake it off. You were so, fine. Yeah. You're just okay. Mm, just it's just okay. a weird thing that mm, you yeah. hope never happens again. Yeah, it's exactly. Fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, well, maybe get a check, but okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, my mom always says like, just shake it off, you're fine. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe get a second opinion, but yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll trust, see. trust your mom and also get a second opinion. Yeah. Good job, well done. Thank you, appreciate it. Alright, so my audio stopped working on my camera, but I feel like this is an important thing, so I'm going to do my best to voice over. I hope with a joke there, look, go to laugh away. God, I'm hilarious, it's so funny. Um, I was asking about what he's going to do in his off season. He said he's going to go to Miami. He's going to compete there as an individual. I asked him if he was going to do team. He said he had a team lined up with Scott Tetlow, and Scott Tetlow picked someone. Colton didn't want to be on a team with that person. So he said if he can find a teammate, he'll go. At this point, I said, hey, you know, Austin Hatfield's going individual. He might go on a team. And then he spots Austin. And he says, hey, Austin, are you going to go to Miami? Yes, sir. You know, want to be a team, me and Scott Tetlow? Ooh, I'll definitely think about it. And that's it. That was Crash. I leave you with Taylor and Hopper having a non-existent game of slaps for way too long. <laughs>